hi guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be making something really really special and this is a recipe showing you how to make simple sardine bread So if you're just seeing my channel for the first time, my name is Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making sardine bread and all the ingredients are on the screen. I started off with some warm milk and then I'm adding some sugar, a little bit of salt, my dry active yeast, and I'm going to add in just one egg. If you're a lover of bread, then sardine bread is something that you would really love kindly subscribe to my channel if you've not done that and of course share this video with your friends and family now we start very well until the mixture is well combined as you can see in the video after that i'm going to add in our flour and i've sieved my flour already so i'm just using about two cups of flour now this quantity of sardine bread can actually serve about four to six people depending on how you eat and after that, I'm going to use a fork to just mix this together. Sardine bread is actually not difficult. The most important thing is to make sure that you get all your ingredients right. And, um, you know, when you're baking, make sure that your ingredients are correct. I added some butter and I'm just going to mix that up together before I use my hands to knead the dough. So right now what I'm doing is just to make sure that the butter gets incorporated into the dough. And after which I'm going to transfer this on a flat surface and I'm going to knead properly. Now once it looks like this, we're going to transfer this. You'll notice that it is not sticky on my hands, meaning that it's not too soft and it's not too hard. So that's the kind of consistency that you want. Now I'm just going to knead gently until it is smooth enough. So I did this for about five minutes. It depends if you have a stand misa or you know a processor that can do this for you you can actually use that but here i just use my hands so after this is done and you make sure that it looks smooth it's not sticky and you know the color is even looking really vibrant as well i'm just going to transfer this into a bowl but before i do that i'm just going to add a little bit of olive oil into the bowl so that it would not stick to the bowl so i'm going to cover this with um, a cling film after which i would also use a napkin which is very neat to you know to cover properly and i'm going to allow this to rise for about 35 minutes to 40 minutes it depends on the kind of yeast that you actually have now our canned sardine is here and the first thing i'm going to do is drain out the oil because we don't really need much of that but i'm going to show you something you can do with um the oil as well so into a little bowl i'm just going to mash the sardine depending on how you want it in the bread you can just mash a little or you can really mash mash like you know mash mash well <laughs> um after that our dough is ready and you're just going to you know create a little hole in the middle and then we are going to cut this into two parts so we're going to add our sardine into that and then we're just going to roll and bake so basically for sardine bread make sure that you roll one part depending on the kind of shape you want for your sardine bread bread is bread and this was for saturday breakfast and it was so so good so i'm just going to roll that out i don't want this to be too thin or even too thick i just want you know something that is you know um that has the right size now i'm just going to add the sardine into that you can see that this is really coming out well i really love sardine bread so if you're a lover of sardine bread and this video is definitely for you so i'm just going to roll that i don't really have any shape in mind i just want to eat sardine bread and this is something that you can actually make at home pretty easy now make sure that you fold the sides so that it would bake properly and now we're going to repeat the same process for the second part of the dough so the same thing you roll out make sure that you roll it properly make sure it's not too thin it's not too thick 
the idea of baking bread is to make sure that your individual ingredients are correct and they're actually done in the right way and here i just want to say if you're looking for a channel where you have the opportunity to enjoy amazing recipes learn diverse recipes that are healthy and also tasty well you're welcome to my channel you are actually at the right place and i cannot wait to have you here thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed so far you guys are amazing please kindly subscribe if this is your first time here and of course share and like this video so just roll and we're going to bake our bread um i've already preheated the oven for about 10 minutes so it's not going to take a lot of time now depending on how you like your bread i really love my bread brown so um if you want it um to be a little bit lighter than brown then you can do that now in the buttered pan you're going to add in the bread so this is what it looks like and i'm going to cover and allow this to rise a little bit for about 10 more minutes now in that same bowl of your sardine we're going to add a little bit of egg and a little bit of sardine oil now mix this up together so we're going to use this as our egg wash so we still want a little bit of um, the sardine particles on top of our bread if you understand what i'm saying so it's time for us to egg wash the dough and all you need to do is just apply it on top of it so this would actually make the bread look smooth and shiny and of course because of the little sardine particles you know it, it really gives you an idea that yes this is actually sardine bread after doing all this we're just going to bake for about 15 minutes make sure you clean your area it is very important cleanliness can never be overemphasized. make sure that you clean now our bread is ready can you take a look at that i really love my bread brown but if you do not want it you know this brown well you can actually bake for less time and our sardine bread is ready i had this with some tea and it was so delicious you can see from the inside that the bread is really really good this tasted so so good let me know in the comments if you'd like to try this recipe and of course do not forget to subscribe to my channel like and share this video thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time